Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c divided by c multiplied by c is equals to c divided by 4 and we solve this problem for all the values of c. So here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution of this problem. So here the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to cross multiply the terms so that we multiply this c with 4 and we multiply this c with c times of c. So after cross multiplication of the terms uh, we have when we multiply 4 with c it will becomes 4 times of c is equals to here we multiply c with the c times of c it will becomes a c will be multiplied by 3 times. So here in the left hand side we have <coughs> 4 times of c becomes 4c and when we multiply c with 3 times it will becomes c cubed. And further in the next step we need to move this 4c to the right hand side and it will become c cubed and when we move this 4c to the right hand side it will become minus 4c and this whole equation is equal to 0. And now you see here both of these terms involve c so when we take common c from here we get the remaining values are now from here we get c square minus from here we get 4 and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c is equal to 0 and the second case is we write c square minus 4 is equal to 0 so this is the our first root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this uh, the second case and from here uh, we have uh, two ways to solve this equation first is we use the algebraic formula and the second one is we use the nice square root on both of the sides okay so here we use the square root uh, term so we move this minus 4 to the right hand side and it will be written as c square is equals to 4 and now here for the values of c we need to take square root on both of the sides so when we will take square root on both of the sides this will be written as this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here uh, this c is equals to we know that the square root of 4 becomes 2 and you know about that when we uh, uh, write or when we apply square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign any one of the side uh, so it means that here we get two roots of the given equation so we have total three roots which we get here from first method and now here in the next steps we need to verify that uh, which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and it is c divided by c multiplied by c is equals to c divided by 4 and uh, here we will be verify c is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify c is equals to plus 2 and in this side we will be verify c is equals to minus 2. So here we verify these three roots uh, of the given equation here and when we put this c is equals to 0 on both of the sides you will get here 0 divided by 0 multiplied by 0 is equals to 0 divided by 4 and here you get 0 over 0 is equals to this is 0 over 4 becomes 0. So here you remember one thing is that 0 over 0 uh, is usually called that it is the indeterminate form okay. Uh, so if this is the indeterminate form or in other words we will say that it is undefined form or if this is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal means that c is equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so we say that c is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root and now here uh, we need to move towards uh, the second case or to check the second value and when we check 
c is equals to 2 we substitute this value on both of the sides and it will be written as 2 divided by 2 multiplied 2 equals to 2 divided by 4 and here you see that uh, this is 2 times of 2 becomes 2 divided by 4 equals 2 divided by 4 uh, so this means that the value of c is equals to 2 is satisfied over this question statement uh, so we conclude about c is equals to 2 is be the first solution of the given equation and now here uh, we check uh, the third value of c and that is c is equals to minus 2 so when we substitute c is equals to minus 2 on both of the sides it will become minus 2 divided by minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 equals to minus 2 divided by 4 and here uh, we focus on this term and we get minus 2 divided by this is minus times minus becomes plus and 2 times 2 becomes 4 equals to minus 2 divided by 4. So here you see that uh, both of the sides are equal which means that the second value of c is also satisfied over given question statement uh, so that the final solution set of the, the given question is that plus minus 2 okay this is the our uh, solution set which we get here from first method and now here we again solve this problem for a second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here so that the given question statement is c divided by c multiply c equals c divided by 4 this is the our given question statement and in the second method we just uh, get uh, roots of c uh, directly or in a very short method so here uh, in the second method you see that this c is cancelled out by this c directly and we will get here 1 divided by here we have c multiplied by c becomes c square in the right hand side we have 1 divided by 4 so here we need uh, to cross multiply the terms and when we cross multiply the terms uh, we will get here c square is equals to 4 uh, so uh, for uh, for the values of c we need to take square root on both of the sides and you see this two and this square root are gone and we get here c is equals to the square root of 4 is 2 and here we apply the square root on both of the sides so we get the value of c is equals to plus minus 2 also in the first method we already verified that this value of c is satisfied our given question statement uh, so we say that the solution set of the given question is plus minus 2. So this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.